ties that it comes with and that tie is going to be used on the back end where the uh, grinder pump is and on the front part where it ties into the little horn that comes out the back of the toilet that's going to be tightened down with a stainless steel clamp And here's the three inch stainless steel clamp. Now this is probably one of the hardest parts to do uh, of this application because it's in a little tight area, but once you got it, it's, you're good. So it was a little tricky working in this little spot here. Okay, now we're ready to install the uh, toilet bolts to bolt it down to the floor. And the reason I didn't do it right away is because I wanted to uh, have a chance to have a little more play in the bowl when I, while I was working on connecting the uh, coupling in the back. So now that that's done, I can go ahead and secure the toilet to the floor. Yeah, the crescent wrench was making it a little hard for me to get in there, so I went and got a uh, boxed-in wrench. Now, I'm going to set the tank in place. And again, before <clears throat> early in the video, I mentioned that uh, I would recommend installing this tank first before we'd actually done what we just did, uh, connecting it to the coupling, because it was kind of uh, difficult getting the tank on. <clears throat> Uh, because of the tight space that I had to work in but I mean I managed to get it and it, it, it worked out okay but it would have been a lot easier if I had done it before I set the uh, bowl in place and if you notice you look in the inside of it it's set up just like any average toilet that you might see the insides of the inside of a any to average toilet you see 
and there is one difference that you'll see at closer to the end of the video uh, as it fills up it doesn't uh, use the refill tube like most toilets do but other than that it works just the same as any other toilet other than being grinded and pumped up to the uh, sewer system and uh, again installing the uh, tank top is no different than installing it on any other toilet we got our tank to bowl uh, bolts and there's our tank to bowl gasket that I'm putting on now now the set of tank bolts that it come with the kit I'm not crazy about the tank the set that comes with it uh, I prefer the uh, they've got a set of tank to bowl kit that uh, Gerber makes and they seem to do uh, it's they're a lot easier to work with let's put it that way now you can see why uh, it would have been easier if I uh, installed the tank first because now <laughs> I have to reach up under there with my hands and try to uh, blindly tighten the bolts down to the uh, tank and bowl and uh, it wasn't it really didn't kill me but uh, it would have been easy if I had done it the first before I set it in place Now, they make many different types of uh, toilet seats, uh, but if you do get one, particularly like this one, and if you buy the uh, set here that I'm showing here, um, this is how this toilet seat goes on. They all don't go exactly the same, but this one here, I guess the uh, toilet seats that they supply with this set, and it's fairly easy. Now, even though that I have the toilet set in place where I want it to be, uh, there's still more work to be done. I still have to run the uh, water lines to the uh, toilet and the utility sink that I'll be stalling alongside of it. And also, I have the uh, vent pipe to run and the discharge, the sewer discharge that, that pumps it up into the uh, main sewer system. You know, one thing I noticed about this toilet, this is a pretty large toilet. It's not small like you would think. Uh, it's a elongated, which is one of the most popular toilets that everybody gets. Not too many people want to round front anymore. And also the comfort height. This is just about the height as a comfort height toilet. So it's, it's a nice size toilet. And now what I'm showing you here is the sewer drain up above where I'll be tying into. So we're going to get started. And what I'm going to do is just prefab a piece up that's going to fit right where I want the discharge to uh, discharge to. This here uh, in the field we call these mission bands. And this particular mission band, of course, is 2 inch. And you can see, read the label right there on the side. It says 2 inch CIPL, and that means cast iron or plastic. So it's made for uh, PVC pipe or cast iron pipe. So now I'm back on the prefab part. And prefab means nothing more than just getting it ready to go in place rather than trying to build it in the spot where it is 
this way if I build it out here I can just walk in there make my cut